think for yourself. So the least you can do is be nice or be kind. And if you can't be kind, shut your fucking mouth. Y'all sick here. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. Welcome. If you see this this stuff coming out of my mouth, it's because it is below 10 degrees outside right now. Uh, let me tell you, my place is just not built for it and I don't have adequate heat. So if you see me in my <laughs> nice little jacket, <laughs> it's because I'm cold, okay? Because I really wanted you guys to see my t-shirt, which says cute but psycho. <laughs> It, it, it says a lot about who I am cute but you know if you push me to the limit I will appear psycho to you when I react to the foolishness and fuckery that's going on okay so please don't push me to the limit today I wanted to come to you guys and share with you my pet peeves because I have a fucking voice in the world and I have something to say and you're gonna listen to it whether you like it or not okay that's just number one and two i think it would be helpful helpfully suited to help some of us who aren't really you know doing the right thing to help some of us get the fuck in line because a lot of us just aren't and just to like uplift and incite some knowledge with you guys so before i get too much into it because this is a pet peeve video so i guess i should give a little bit of attitude <laughs> I mean, I started off with attitude, so y'all know already that, yeah, there's some attitude in here. So I made a list of some of the things. This is just some, okay? It's not all. Some of the things that just grinds my gears, and I would just love some consideration to be taken. You know what I mean? Just take some consideration, please. So, the first, I'm just going to be reading off my phone here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to calm down just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little. My first thing here on my list of pet peeves is, and, we, and I only have 10, um, is people acting out more than a situation calls for. Okay, so let me just explain this this pet peeve, right? It's just like you come to someone on like a 15%, right? And you have a little situation that you're you're expressing or talking about to someone and they just go all the way to fucking 90 or 100 on you about something and you're just standing there like, okay, I mean, it's not that serious and you really don't need to be acting like that because the situation is really at 15%. You either respond at a 15% rate, you know what I mean? And like, respond the way the, the message is given. Respond appropriately. You don't need to go all the way to 50. I mean, 17 is okay. 14, all right. You know, 20 is kind of pushing it. But if I come to you on 15, give me a 15% reaction. Don't go ape shit on me and don't go crazy. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean by people just act. Like, there, there needs to be balance. You know what I mean? There needs to be balance in a conversation. There needs to be balance in a situation. Like, someone can't come to you, like, right here and you go all the way up here on them. And when I say all the way up here on them, you know what I mean. I mean with attitude and fronting and shit, like, get your fucking life together. It's not that serious. Like, come back down off your high horse and actually try to have a conversation with me right where I am, right where I met you. You know what I mean? Because this is where I am. This is where I met you. This is where my mentality is right now about this particular situation. Deal with it on this level. Don't go all the way up here and, and act like you're above and beyond the shit or you're, you know what I mean, go all wild and crazy on me. Like, please, just have some consideration. You know what I mean? Like, come on. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> so, my next thing on the list is nasty people. People throwing their garbage outside of their vehicles and just littering overall. Like, stop it. It's disgusting. 
we need to keep our planet clean. You know what I mean? If we don't do it, who is going to do it? Because if we're not doing it, we're not teaching our children to do it. Like, look how great planet Earth has been to us. You can at least respect that much and take your garbage to the trash. Take it to the recycling bin. Take it to the freaking shredding machine. Don't throw your cigarette butts out on the street. Don't throw stuff out your car. Like, get your life. You're, that's so unfair to us that don't do stuff like that because we have to witness it every single day. Like, stop. It's not cool. <sighs> Just take care of planet Earth the way she take care of you. Because I'm sure you fucking eat all the time. Don't you eat? eat? Where do you think the food come from? Monsanto isn't making the food like just pop up out of nowhere. And the real food is not popping out of nowhere either, okay? L let me just let you know. So, it, it's coming from the earth or planet, so take care of it. <sighs> Moving on, because I don't want to appear like a crazy gal, but I'm just a little crazy, you know? <laughs> okay, the next thing on my list is people trying to make their annoying presence known to you. You know, just imposing themselves upon you, imposing their their ideals, imposing their lifestyle, just like, okay, this is one example of what I'm talking about. So I was in Starbucks the other day, minding my own goddamn business, mind you, which I always go in Starbucks, grab a coffee and a kind bar, sit in the corner, edit my videos, check my emails, mind my own business, right? So I'm in the corner minding my own business and I'm very much aware of my surrounding and I'm very much aware of everything that's happening because in this world, here and now, like, you better know who came through the door, what happened. You just need to be aware of your surrounding. So I, I, um, oh wow, that's a lot of steam coming out of my mouth. I feel like a fucking dragon. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm sitting there minding my own business. I think I was checking my emails, waiting for something to download. And the, 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 I don't know, since the Starbucks moved in my area to a different location, which is just across the street, the internet became extremely slow. I don't know what that's all about. But I was waiting for a while for my shit to be downloaded. And I was, I was getting a little annoyed, right? So anyways, I'm sitting there waiting, checking my emails, you know, doing a lot of different things just to get by and this girl walks in, right? I'm not gonna describe her, guys, but you guys will know who I'm talking about. So she walks in, she comes in, she sits down. I don't know if she bought a coffee or not. I don't know what the hell she was doing, but she was sitting like maybe, say, 11 feet from me. Now, mind you, I just came from the gym, right? Did a nice little workout. I was feeling good. I dressed nicely. I'm looking polished and clean because when I do go up in Starbucks, I like to look presentable. You know what I mean? I make a little extra energy, a little extra effort because, you know, important people are passing by and you just never know. So anyways, sitting in there, minding my own business. She comes in, she sits down, you know, whatever. I'm just being aware of my surrounding. I don't care. I mean, a dozen other people came in and I was just as observant, but I wasn't necessarily observant of it. I don't let my presence be known that I'm observing anybody. I'm just mostly aware of my surrounding. So she glimpses over at me and you know when somebody glimpses over at you and they're like, oh, why do you look so good today? What are you doing over there? Like, what, what, what? No, the girl leaves her nice seat away from me, which I think is a nice place to be. She comes over there, so I'm like, and then she starts preying me. Now back in my country, when, he, when somebody said preying you, they mean observing you, just checking you out, like with no reason, kind of with a bad intention, you know what I mean? She, she just starts preying me, and I'm just like, God damn, I'm just trying to do my work. Like, can you leave me the fuck alone? Like, why you preying me so far? Why you preying me so far? Why you preying me? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm not preying you, girl. Like, leave me alone. You know, when somebody's imposing their attention and their everything on you and it's just so uncomfortable and you're just like, what the fuck? Leave me alone, man. I don't care about you. So, I'm just like, 
trying to be like friendly about it and like nice because I'm just like oh wow well, maybe she just wants maybe she just want to be friends with all this niceness because you know <laughs> your girl's a nice gal <laughs> You know what I mean? So I'm like, maybe she just wants to be friendly. Maybe she just wants to be friends with me or something. You know, I'm a good gal. I'm a nice gal. Why wouldn't someone want to be friends with me? So anyways, I realized that she was actually waiting for her friend. So did I mention that she came over and sat down right in front of me? Like directly in front of me. And then she came with her friend and her and her friend was imposing their conversation. At I mean, why didn't she sit all the way over there where she was in the first place? Why she felt like she needs to come over here to be talking about a conversation about going on holiday or, you know, when somebody's talking so that you can hear, so that you can have a response, so that you can feel like you're unworthy of something or, and they're like looking around to see my response. And I'm just like, girls, girls, your, your life is so sad if you feel like you need to spend that excessive amount of time and energy to make somebody else feel bad about themselves because you've got the wrong one. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking bad bitch and I'm fucking hot and I'm fucking worthy of everything I want in the world and there's no way you're going to make me feel any other way. So you're wasting your breath, you're wasting your energy, you're wasting everything in your being right now because if it's not something good that you are projecting onto me, I'm rejecting it. And that's what I mean by someone trying to impose themselves upon you. You know what I mean? So let's move on because I've I kind of ramble around that one. But yeah. So my next thing is people leaving their trash cans or bins in the middle of the fucking sidewalk. Now I was a cyclist at one point in my life. I never always have a car. I used to walk. I used to ride my bike everywhere that I need to go. And it would make me extremely upset. I would reek with anger every time I'm trying to ride my bike on trash day and there was a fucking trash can in the middle of the sidewalk. No, I mean, I love that people are taking out their trash. Please ensure that you take out your trash. Everything is nice and neatly. Nothing is falling over. There's no trash on the sidewalk. I appreciate the, the garbage men that come and take up the trash. But if you're going to put your trash can can outside of your, your, your yard in your driveway and there's, there's a freaking um, sidewalk, put it either to one side of the sidewalk or the other. But don't put it in the middle of the sidewalk because there's cyclists, there's pedestrians, there's children, there's people riding their their um skateboards. Like there's other people that use the freaking sidewalk, especially on a busy street, other than your goddamn trash can. So have some consideration for everybody else because it's a little rude when you do that, okay? To have some consideration that's all I'm saying okay so now that that's over <laughs> and that's that we can move on to my other pet peeve um liars cheaters fakers talkers there's nothing I hate more in life than a liar you know what I mean there's nothing I hate more than a liar. My grandmother always say, a liar, there's something blinking on my camera. I don't even know what and why, but it's blinking. Yeah, my grandmother always say, a liar is a, a, liar is a thief. A liar is a thief or something to that effect. And it's true because once you start lying, you only evolve from there especially when you are a compulsive liar. The behavior only becomes worse. The least you can do is have some respect for yourself and be honest and tell the truth because in the end, you're only lying to yourself. You know what I mean? So it's best to be honest. Now, the same thing for cheaters, like, I'm not even gonna talk about that because, I mean, come on, respect your relationship. Yeah, but as I was saying, the least you can do is respect your partner and be honest about your relationship. Like, be honest to yourself, be honest to others, and be honest to the person that you're with. If you're not happy in a relationship, why stay in there to be a cheater? It doesn't even make sense. 
you're lying to yourself and you're fooling yourself. Because what's in the dark always comes to the light, okay? Ugh. It always comes to the light and then you're left there looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. And the talkers, the talkers. Just let them talk. Just let them talk because all they do is talk, but they never bring action to the ground. They never bring action to the forefront. And that is the part that pisses me off and annoys me the most. Like, I just, I just, I just ignore them. And the, the more I just like ignore them and not even pay them any mind, it, I feel like that works for me. I, honestly, I haven't figured out the best way to deal with the talkers except for ignoring them. And I feel like that's the best thing to do at this point in my life. Just. Because if, if it's not going to matter, <laughs> you guys can see how, how agitated I am, right? If it's not going to matter in the next five days, the next five months, the next five weeks, I, I should say five days, five weeks, five months, five years, like, I'm not even going to bother with it. Like, it, it's just not, it, it's just not, you know what I mean? It Just moving on. So, my next thing on this list here says right it says and i wrote all these of course but I, I wrote also notes next to everything so it says judgmental behavior casting judgment taking sides before experiencing or know a situation for yourself and i've had to deal with people who cast judgment on me without even experiencing some kind of situation that they're claiming somebody said about me um for themselves you've never heard if you've never heard me being disrespectful or being rude or mean to someone why would you feel like someone telling you so is the truth and nothing but the truth so help you fucking god and why do you feel like you need to come to me to tell me how to behave or how to act who the fuck are you i'm a grown ass woman don't you think i know myself more than you could ever know me like we all need to stop that shit now. Like, don't be taking up anybody else's business upon yourself. You know what I mean? Stop judging others before you even get to know them. That's the basis of it. If you don't know something, if you don't know it for a fact to be true, if you have not experienced it, you cannot make a judgment on it. And if you do come to some kind of judgment on it, it is by the device of somebody else's opinion yes you cannot be easily persuaded especially in a time like this honey you just can't you have to make up your own conclusions about life you hear and about things and about people you have to come to your own conclusions actually know something for a fact to be true because you've experienced it, not because somebody else's opinion persuaded you into believing something that may or may not be true. Just, just think for yourself. In other words, think for yourself. You have a mind, you are given a mind to think for yourself. Use it. It's important for you to use it. That's why you are given it. And it is useful for you to have your own individual thought, thought process, way of thinking, develop it if you don't already have it. It's important. Use it. I'm going to move on now because I'm kind of repeating myself, but I find that a lot of people don't think for themselves and a lot of people don't use their own brains. And it's quite annoying, I might add. Now, this is the part that gets me because if you guys don't already know I do have a podcast it's called my podcast is called I saw the business of your mind and it's basically exploring different topics focusing on people thinking for themselves and having their own ideas and thoughts and principles cultivated from their own experiences and I, I talk about stuff like how sensitive how sensitive America is and um, I, I think I talk about our children I, t I talk about um, women's body and and how we have control over it and how we must behave and how we must um, assert ourselves in certain situations so you guys can check that out I'll leave it down below but um, I wanted to mention this in this video because I also have it on this list um, and I, I, it's also a topic that I, t I um, touched on in my podcast or on my podcast it is just 
the sensitivity shit. You know what I mean? Let me read my notes here. People getting offended at every turn, but in a real in real life, away from their keyboards, they are a-okay and having a great time getting you, you aroused and upset. Cause not me. I ain't got the time to, to have anybody else's opinion upsetting and arousing me. And that's one of the reasons why I do not watch the news. Okay? Um, I also have here, I don't, I do not like people reaching for negativity. And a lot of the brawls and the outrage and stuff that goes on on social media, it derives from people reaching for negativity to either begin the demise of someone or the demise of a company or the demise of somebody. They're never reaching for something positive to uplift. If you notice these kind of people and when these things come out, they're never reaching for something to uplift anyone because they're so fucking sad and unhappy behind their keyboards. And that's where they're, they'll always be. You know what I mean? They never try to bring some kind of positive influence in the world. They're always reaching for negativity. And that's the shit I don't like because you're out there um, reaching to bring down somebody and trying to make the whole fucking world sensitive about some shit that we, we know better. You know what I mean? We know better than to take your fucking opinion about some shit because, but a lot of us don't think for ourselves. And that's the, the, that's the part that gets me. And that's the part that, that's one of my pet peeves too. Like people not thinking for themselves. Like think for your fucking self. Like you got a mind, you got a brain, you got a cranium, use it. Sorry to be yelling, but you know, gotta say it like it is, honey. Oh, I have here in my notes. I find that if we're all striving for positivity, then that's what we'll find. So then, when negativity... Okay, I, I remember what I wrote. So, I was, I was writing down my thoughts here. I find that if we all strive for positivity, that's what we'll find. You know what I mean? But if we're, if we're searching and seeking negativity... We'll also find that. But if you are striving for positivity, when the negativity comes our way, it's, it's an easy like, no, goodbye. <laughs> Not today. You know what I mean? But if we're always just striving on who's doing this, who did that, who said this seven years ago. Who the fuck were you seven years ago? What makes you feel like you need to come for somebody about what they said seven fucking years ago? Who are you? You are nobody. You are nobody. To be coming at our brother like that? Who the fuck are you? Everybody wants to put some kind of label on somebody. Nobody put shit into the context anymore. And that shit's fucked up. America, y'all need to do better. Because y'all upholding this position of power and prestige upon the rest of the world when y'all fucking sick. Y'all sick here. Get it together. And it is showing in every way. Think about America. Let me put it on my phone for a second. Think about America if America was a old lady, right? How would she behave? Say the way she thinks is directed by a man named Donald Trump right so her she is very impulsive and is always in outrage her body's out of control because she's eating too much nasty food she is depressed and hormonal and she's bipolar and she's just acting a fool and acting crazy and even when she's sane and calmed down and in the, her best state ever she's reaching for negativity versus reaching for something positive you know what I mean? Like, think about that because that's how I see America right now. And if we don't get that old lady in check, damn, she's gonna fuck up. You know what I mean? She's gonna be sick to the fucking bone, okay? She's gonna crumble. And I mean crumble. She's gonna die. The next thing I have on my notes here is the crab in a barrel mentality. Like... Oh my gosh, we need to be better uplifters. We need to be better motivators. We need to be better supporters. Like, everybody's just trying to bring everybody else down. Because it's it's like we feel like there's not enough 
resources for everybody like there's enough resources for everybody you know there's an abundance of wealth out here for everybody like go get your shit you know what i mean go get your shit and stop worrying about tom who has his shit tom went for his shit and got his shit he worked hard for it lucy did too so go get your shit and stop blaming everybody else for you not getting your shit you know what i mean it's it's disgusting we need to be happy for everybody else's success because that's the only way you'll ever be successful and maintain your success is if you can actually be happy for someone being su being successful and succeeding at something. I also have in my notes here that I wish that we all wish well for each other and that we and that we all succeed. We can all thrive. There is enough experiences, health, wealth, and abundance out here for everyone. Thank you. <sighs> I'm getting riled up and rattled up because these are my pet peeves. These are the shit that are fucking up society right now. These are the shit that are fucking up people's mind and are fucking brain fucking me when I don't need no brain fuck. You know what I mean? I don't need no mind fuck, especially when it's not good. If it's not good, why do I want it? I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. If it ain't gonna be good, don't give it to me. Please, don't give it to me. I don't know who I am right now. I honestly don't. I, I sound like an old American guy of some sort. I, I don't know. There was this guy that I met some years ago. His name was Marcus. I kind of feel like him right now. He was he used to be this really chill fellow. You know what I mean? The only thing we had in common was that our energies kind of we kind of vibrated on the same energy. But he was a little bit of a drunk and when he got drunk, he kind of acted a little crazy. Listen, I was just I was just like I wasn't like friends friends with him i was more like a buddy to him you know what i mean so i never really got the blunt of it but i heard about him um not being abusive or you know anything to anybody but kind of neglecting himself and neglecting kind of what i felt like he stood for because to me in the back of my mind i felt like he was this powerful creature like this powerful force like his name was Marcus, and I don't know if you guys know who Marcus Messiah Garvey is, but he's one of our national heroes in Jamaica, and he started the UNIA, which was the United Negro Improvement Association, or something to the sort. I'll link it right here, if I'm incorrect. But he was all about education and uplifting um, Black Americans and Black people in general to become better. You know what I mean? To become better citizens, to become better people, to become educated and better off. You know what I mean? And he kind of, in some way, because his name was Marcus and because he was a little bit of, of a fuller man and um, dark complexion, just like Marcus Garvey, he kind of reminded me of Marcus Garvey, Garvey, especially the way that he spoke as well. It kind of reminded me of Marcus. And when I heard that he behave the way that he did when he got drunk and that and the fact that he was even getting drunk in public kind of made me extremely disappointed and just extremely I don't know just there goes Marcus <laughs> but yeah <laughs> so I'm going to move on so the next thing that I have here on my list is the no context zone. And I don't know if you guys know what context is, but um, I, I might as well do it in a voiceover. But this is what I think. I think we should all understand context sometimes. I think a lot of us don't put things into context, which means putting it into perspective, putting it in the place that it was meant to be placed. Don't take something someone said and put it all over here when it was meant for right here. You know what I mean? Let me use both my hands so you can understand. When someone says something, right? Something is put out there in the world. Don't just grab it and go with it somewhere else that it was not intended. 
put it back into the context of the conversation as well as the context in which it was said. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Don't be running off going wild and going on wild goose chases with something someone said when it was not intended to be all that. And I feel like a lot of that is going on. Like context is missing from the American society. Like even people loosely saying dumb shit and it's just like... <sighs> Not everybody who says or acts a certain way is racist. Some people are just fucking prejudiced. Like, to put uh, such a heavy title on someone it is just kind of... It's kind of rude. It, it's kind of a little abrasive. Like, you, you need to put things into context sometimes before you come to some, some, rat, some really out there conclusion. You know what I mean? Like, wheel it back and bring it in. You know what I mean? Wheel it back and bring it in because it, it, it ain't all that. It, it, it just doesn't call for all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, please, bring it in. Um, additional notes to that that I have here is I think we should all understand context especially in a time like this I feel the disappearance of context has led the world to go a little mad putting things into context is very important here which I, I just explained so I'm going to move on now and the last thing on my list is people who do not mind their own business I'm gonna read my notes and then I'm going to expound <laughs> It is important that we take care of the single most important person that we have when it's all said and done. <clears throat> In the end, we, me, you are all that matters, okay? We need to take care of our own businesses before we pry into other people's business. You know what I mean? My grandmother always say, mind your own business. You know what I mean? Like, there's a story about a young man asking an old lady. She was about 90-something. And he said to her, how did you live so long? And she turned to him and said, because she minded her own business. And minding your own business is not just like this broad idea. It means taking care of yourself, tending to your own needs, tending to your own desires, caring about how you feel tending to how you feel ensuring that you feel better before you go minding somebody else's business to make sure that they feel better or anything else like take care of yourself first because that's the only person that you really truly have in the end because you're going to die alone the experience is going to be you alone when you go to the light no matter if someone no matter if everybody else dies dies at the same time it is you that you have to to be with in the experience when you're going to, to when you're crossing over you know what i mean or a transcending or however you call it it is you that you have to to see it's your experience in the end so tend and mind your own business and stop minding other people's business stop looking at vegan people and saying oh um, you're this or you're that. Stop getting on gay people's backs saying, oh, you mind your own fucking business. Let people live their lives. You know what I mean? Let them live them life. The least you can do is, is, is wish and pray for their happiness. Like, let everybody else live their life. It's not, it's not an easy world that we live in. You know what I mean? Especially in a time like this. It's, things aren't easy. And when I say things aren't easy, I don't mean anything but the fact that emotionally mentally it's it's a very trying time as well as spiritually things are moving really fast things are at a fast pace where some people are not coping well with moving forward they're not moving as fast as they want and they feel the pressure and the blunt of it so the least you can do is be nice or be kind and if you can't be kind shut your fucking mouth shut your fucking mouth and mind your own business you know what i mean like just be nice to people man just be nice. At least try. And if you can't be nice, be kind. Because that is what's most important. Because I don't necessarily be like, believe in niceness the way people be like, believe in niceness here. Because a lot of people just be, are, a lot of people are just nice because they're expecting something from you or they want something from you. But when you're kind, that is what's important to me. I don't mind niceness. Don't be mean to me or rude. You understand? Be as nice as you want. But let it be genuine. Let it be genuine niceness and be kind because that's important.
That is what's going to change the world. That is what's going to soften things for us. You know what I mean? So before I go on rambling about anything else, this is the end of my pet peeves. I hope it was of some value to you in your life. If I was cussing a little bit or going off on tangents or just being extremely upset noticeably, I apologize if it offended you that those particular things that I said, that I just described, um, just the shouting and, you know, the cursing and, you know, the, the, the agitation. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, it's, it's just me. It's just me. <laughs> I'm very aware of the way I behave. Remember, I am a trade actress, so... And this is just my personality as well. So as much as it is my personality, I will play it up as much as I possibly can. So before I carry on anymore, <laughs> you guys can see my shirt again so you know who the fuck you're dealing with. <laughs> and um, without further ado, one love guys like you know I love you it's all love here we just want to bring the information to you the way that we bring the information to you we're not going to be all nice and prissy and all all up in it I mean we can do all that and sometimes that is warranted but in this moment it is my pet peeves video so I don't know what you were expecting when you came on here like it was going to be this it was bound to be this aggressive because as much as I can be soft, I can also be hard. Don't, that's what she said to me, please. Bye. Hi guys. Okay, I need my phone. I thought I brought my phone with me. Oh, here it is. or the other. My hands need to be moisturized.